Hey everybody, Sean here with another uh, unboxing of a JRPG, this time The Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero. Uh, and if you're one of the few people out there that are like, well, what is Legend of Heroes? That's That sounds like the most generic fantasy thing I've ever heard. Uh, to which you wouldn't be wrong, uh, but the series is anything but generic, I would say. Um, it, it goes back as far as... Um, the TurboGrafx-16, or uh, PC Engine, as it was known in Japan, uh, it was created by a company called Falcom, who you might know as the creators of the Ys series, uh, YS, if you've ever seen that around. Um, and it started out uh, as a, uh, like I said, a, a TurboGrafx-16 PC Engine game uh, known as Dragon Slayer, I believe, Legend of Heroes, Dragon Slayer, maybe it was Dragon Slayer, Legend of Heroes, I should have looked this up before I, I hit play, but anyway, uh, we did get that first one here, uh, there was a second one, uh, did not get localized for the West, uh, and then the next time we would see a localization would be the, uh, three PSP games, uh, the, the Gagarv Trilogy? I, I, I bet I totally butchered that name. Um, but we did get those three games. And then um, when uh, The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky was about to be localized, uh, it was picked up by a company called Xseed Games, who agreed to do the whole trilogy. Uh, I think not knowing how much of an undertaking it would be. Because uh, we, we did get the first one for PSP. Uh, I'm going to slide that over, actually, because uh, I did bust this out. Uh, this is the Trails in the Sky Premium Edition for PSP. I might do an unboxing on this someday, um, but I just wanted to show you uh, what that was. And uh, we did get this one, and uh, it was looking pretty grim for the rest of them because this one didn't sell uh, enough to, to justify uh, the amount of effort that went into it. So... Um, it did eventually make its way onto Steam, and then, uh, the original, and then, um, I think that one did the numbers to justify, uh, tackling the second game, which was huge, huge undertaking, uh, but it did come out, uh, came out for Steam, uh, as well as digitally for PSP, uh, and then, uh, Trails in the Sky the Third, uh, also came out on Steam, uh, and this really paved a way for the rest of the series. Uh, we did get Trails of Cold Steel on the PS3 and uh, Vita, which I've got here. Slide that over. And uh, this is the Vita version, specifically. Uh, so we did get Trails in the Sky 1 and... Or, I'm sorry, <laughs> Trails of Cold Steel 1 and 2. Um... And then the rights passed from X Seed over to uh, NIS America, uh, who now uh, publishes a lot of the uh, Falcom games. So uh, they eventually brought out Trails of Cold Steel 3, 4, uh, some more of the uh, East games. Uh, X Seed seem to, seems to have retained the rights for the first two, because uh, they did publish uh, the first two games on PS4. Uh, it also exists on Steam. But, um, yeah, which brings us to... I'll move these out of the way. Brings us to this number, uh, Trails from Zero, uh, which is actually part of a duology that got skipped over initially. Uh, Trails from Zero and uh, Trails to Azure uh, are both known as the Crossbell Arc. Uh, and they got skipped over so they uh, so Xseed could get uh, Trails of Cold Steel to market while the PS3 and the Vita were still around, which I don't blame them for that decision. Uh, and it seems to have worked out for everybody because we did get this game eventually. Um, I wish I could have played it when, um, you know, before Trails of Cold Steel, but uh, hey, you, you play the hand that you're dealt. So uh, this I have in front of me is the uh, special edition, the collector's edition for Trails from Zero. Uh, for the PlayStation 4. So, uh, as you can see, it's still sealed. I haven't busted this thing open yet. Um, 
which I kind of wish I had at least broken the plastic because sometimes I struggle with these things, but this one doesn't look too bad, actually. Um, some wonderful art on the back here. Uh, logos on all sides. Um, and it's actually a lot smaller uh, than I thought it was going to be. Uh, is like uh, Trails of Cold Steel 3 is an example. That that thing was a beast. Uh, it came in this big crate. And like I said, I, I might do an unboxing for that uh, down the road someday. But uh, yeah, this is way smaller than I was expecting, which I'm fine with. Um, uh, shelf space these days is uh, kind of in short supply. So I'm, I'm fine with the smaller box size. But uh, yeah, so let's uh, let's bust this thing open. Uh, and I've got to say, the series as a whole, uh, fantastic world building. Like, every NPC that you meet has, like, their own story and their own thing that they're doing. Uh, and all the games tie into each other. And uh, because of that, it, I don't want to say it, it, it can be challenging to kind of jump in the middle of it. Um, in theory, I think you could start with Trails of Cold Steel. Uh, or even this one, if it, it you know, if it's your first time, um, though characters from the older ones do make an appearance, so their significance might be lost on you if the you know if these characters show up and you're like who who who's that? Um, so you might get a little bit of that, but otherwise, um, you know, these games have their own cast of characters. Uh, they do take place in the same world, but they only you know reference earlier events so you can get away with jumping in at later points but honestly if you feel like you're going to commit to the whole thing just start with trails in the sky it's a fantastic game it's a great starting point um it's really cheap <laughs> uh if you get it on steam um i think you can still buy the psp versions if you prefer that although the third isn't on uh psp in the west so honestly you're probably best served just playing the steam versions but um, anyway, so we got the plastic off. It wasn't as much of a struggle as I thought it was going to be. So we're going to go ahead and pop this bad boy open. Now this will be the part that makes me struggle. Which I don't know why. It's not taped shut or anything. I just don't want to damage it. Come on, man. And it is open. All right, so what do we got? A few different things. Uh, so first and foremost is the most important part, the game itself. Uh, which has got some of our main party members on the cover there. And then we've got the back. So actually, as long as I've got this here, I'll uh, pop this open. And uh, I'll do it off screen to save myself embarrassment, because, wow, that box. And actually, that, that wasn't too bad. All right, so we've got the plastic coming off here. All right. Um, and I can feel the disc rattling around. That's really common with PlayStation 4 games, I've noticed. Yeah, it popped out. Um, for whatever reason, the way they manufacture these things, they, they don't stay in their spindles very well. Uh, which is unfortunate, because if, if you've got a game that you're trying to keep sealed, and you want it to not be damaged, having the disc bounce around in there isn't great. Um, but since I'm opening it, I can I can put it back, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, so there's a discard. It looks just like the, the main cover art. Uh, so I'm going to set that aside. Um, got the special support section dossier. Uh, so I'm going to guess this is the manual. Uh, we've got some merchandise. I should actually look at these off-camera in case there's like a code or something. Yeah, and there was. Good thing. Um, so there's a uh, digital soundtrack download. For the songs of the city state uh, but I'll at least show you the back so uh, those are the tracks that you can download uh, these five there uh, not a ton but um, and then yeah just a little flyer for merchandise 
uh, little plush Lloyd there. It's pretty cute. Um, the QR code so you can learn more. And then this, which, like I said, I think is the manual. Uh, warning, the following pages may contain spoiler material, so I guess uh, proceed with caution. Uh, you know, I'm wondering if it's just art. So I see characters, I see backgrounds. Yeah, I think it's just art, so it's probably warning you not to spoil yourself on characters you haven't seen yet or you don't know who they are. Um, so I'm not going to open that up too much. Um, but let's look at this inside cover art. It looks like the cover is reversible. So let's see if I can hold that up to the camera a little bit better. Yeah, so everybody's in like a battle pose in that one. So that's, <laughs> that's actually almost cooler than the other one. Then um, there's some more art in the back. So yeah, reversal, re reversible bleh, cover if you like that sort of thing. So that's pretty neat. I'm going to set that aside and reach into the magic box. Um, and this looks like not really a poster. What does the box call this thing? Uh, cloth poster. Okay, I guess I was right. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do the plastic here. Unfold this. So it's actually a lot bigger than um, where I have the camera position. You can kind of see it there. I think I got most of it. I'm just going to slowly rise it up there. So that's pretty cool. Um, doesn't look like it's two sided though. So yeah. Um, I love the art on that. That's pretty neat. Uh, set that aside. And we've got these. Sorry, I'm just reading what they are. Uh... Heroes of Zero acrylic stand. I see. So this is what I was looking at here. So there's these little uh, mini figures, and it looks like there's a stand in the back here for these. Um, wonder how easy this is to put together. Put together. Bleh. like our stand and it is wrapped in its own plastic and it's in there pretty snug I was trying to avoid ripping the plastic on this, but there we go. All right, I got it. I got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so here's our stand. So you see it's got the uh, Trails from Zero logo on there, so that's pretty cool. Um, looks like it's got room for four characters. And I think four is what I've got. I don't know if each one is supposed to go in a specific position. Uh, I guess we'll start with Lloyd here. Uh, 
who's our main character, which is probably obvious because you look at any JRPG protagonist and it's like, oh yeah, that's the guy. Um, you can usually tell, but um, yeah, I guess I will just, I guess maybe he just pops in here. Maybe. How does this work? Maybe it doesn't just go in any of them. I'm always afraid I'm going to break the thing. Because <laughs> it almost seems like you have to apply pressure to it. God, I, I feel like I'm going to break this, honestly. Like, it, it seems like it's supposed to fit really snug in there. Like this. I, I don't think I've got him pressed all the way in. Like, I said, I'm afraid I'm going to break him. And I don't know how difficult this is to disassemble either. Um, so I'm going to grab Randy next. Like so. Maybe he chills in the back. If he'll go in there. Good enough. All right. All right, so I'm gonna put her on the left side. I don't think she's in there good at all. There we go. And I got one more. And I'm going to take pictures of all this stuff, too, and put it on my Instagram. So if uh, pictures are more your thing, I will have that. Although, if that is more your thing, I don't know why you're watching a video. But hey, I don't judge. There we go. You can barely see her back there, but there we go. There's our party. Ready for some JRPG shenanigans. How about that? I bet if I move people around, you could probably see all the characters better, but I just kind of pop people in places where I just felt like it. So anyway, setting that aside, what else do we got? We got the SSS classified files, which sounds kind of like what we got inside the case. Um, I don't know if it's like another art book. Map, characters, illustrations, backgrounds, 3D artwork. So, there's the map of the world. Or at least the relevant parts of the world. There's some character profiles. Some artwork. Didn't give me a spoiler warning on this, so I don't know. Uh, maybe there's not any sensitive characters in this one. Um, looks like backgrounds. Yeah, so not really a manual. It looks like just a more uh, in-depth art book than the, uh, the, the other one. Um, except this one's hardcover. So, very cool. I'm going to set that aside.
Oh, my favorite part. All right, so here we got the Steelbook case. Uh, it's got the SSS on the cover and the logo on the back. And this one's got the title on the spine. Do like that. I know some Steelbook cases do not do that, and it drives me crazy. Um, and you, you probably can't tell, but it's like kind of textured on the front. I don't know what the proper term is for that, but um, it kind of indents uh, where the characters are. Like the characters kind of pop on this a little bit, so I think that's very cool. Uh, if we open it up inside, get some more artwork, probably from uh, Crossbell in there. So very cool. Yeah, I just, I love steel bookcases. I just, aesthetically, uh, very pleasing to my eye. So, very happy about that addition. And last, but certainly not least, we've got our soundtrack. Uh, physical version, so, whereas the... A one in the case had a digital and not quite as many tracks. This one's got 10, which still isn't a lot relative to uh, how many tracks are probably in the game, but um, hopefully it's at least the best ones. Uh, so I'm going to try popping this thing open. And not having too much trouble with this one. So. There we go. Let's get the plastic off. I'm opening it up now. There's our disc. The Anthems of Crossbell. Um, doesn't look like there's any additional art underneath it, just plain black. Um, looks like the cover insert has some art on the back, but it's not a booklet though, so, um, there's not any interviews or anything like that. It's just, just this single piece of paper, so. And, uh. Hot take, I think what makes a good uh, collector's edition, in my opinion, it's got to have at least two things. Uh, soundtrack, preferably on disc, and a steel bookcase. If you can do those two things for me, I am happy. Uh, art books are fine, although sometimes uh, some collector's editions that do art books, sometimes they make, they make them too big. So, like, they'll make these great big huge boxes, and, like, most of the size is just from the art book itself. I don't like that. Uh, I'd rather have, like, a smaller hardcover art book, like what was done here. Um, so, honestly, this this has all the things I come to expect from Collector's Edition and enjoy from them. Not as much into figures. Like, these little standee things are fine. They're small, um, and they're kind of cool. But the ones that come with statues or like these great big huge things, um, they tend to inflate the price of the collector's edition beyond what it's worth. And they're usually cheaply made. So it, and they just take up a lot of space. I don't like them typically. Uh, if you want to put figures in there, fine. But, you know, make them small because oftentimes they don't justify the cost. So um, anyway, that's my little collector's edition rant. And I think that's everything. So, uh, to recap, we got the outer box. We've got the game, which I did not put back, which is a big game collector sin, not putting things back in the case after you're done with them. So we've got that. We've got our soundtrack. We've got... Our steel bookcase. 
We've got our little um, cloth poster thing. We've got our little figures, which I just, <laughs> one of them just fell off because I didn't get them in there really good. Uh, we got our art book. And did I miss anything? I don't think I did. I'll just kind of sneak her back in there. It's not going to stay, but... Um, yeah, so that's everything. So, uh, overall, like I said, I, I like everything that's in here. It's, it's a really good set. It doesn't take up a lot of space, and it comes with some really cool stuff. So... Uh, yeah, uh, in my opinion, worth it, especially if you're a Trails fan. Uh, if you've never played the Trails games before, please go do so. Uh, they're kind of a slow burn, but honestly, they pay off in dividends. It, it, it's just, it, they're just so incredible. I, I, I really enjoy them, and I'm glad I discovered them. So, um, But anyways, that is the end of my unboxing for Trails from Zero. So uh, thanks so much for joining me, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.